I've done a lot of Falcom content over the past two years or so, but there's a particular area that I've never really touched on, and that is the music, which is astounding considering how much I praise Sound Team JDK. So yeah, why not? Let's do one. Let's do one on the E-Series first, and then we'll do one on the Trail series a little bit after. So what we'll do is we'll go through the games chronologically, so where they appear on the official East timeline, and because there are just so many excellent songs, there will be honourable mentions in no particular order first, and then there will be my favourite song at the very end with some commentary. And don't expect, like, any technical terms or anything, because I'm not exactly a music major. My criterion for my favourite songs simply come down to, did I like it or not? And I think it goes without saying that this is highly subjective, these are all my opinions, so if your song doesn't appear on this list, don't worry, I don't hate you. So with that all being said, let's get started with the first game. Now naturally, if we're starting at the origin of the East series, we will start with the aptly named East Origin, which was indeed the first Falcon title I ever played. And this soundtrack overall is not only excellent in the general sense, but it's also highly nostalgic for me, as it's the first time I truly got a taste of what Sound Team JDK were capable of. Here's the honourable mentions first. But when it comes to my favourites, I can never look past the first song I heard from East Origin, which just so happens to chime in during the opening sequence. That song is Genesis Beyond the Beginning. This is just brilliant in every way. I may have some bias here, but I remember just being in awe when I heard it for the first time, thinking to myself that I had found a hidden diamond if the rest of East Origin would hold even more tracks in the same vein. The combination of violins and guitars just gets you psyched for the journey ahead as you ascend the tower, and I still consider it to be one of my favourite video game tracks of all time. This one truly is timeless. Now moving forward about 700 years in the timeline where we join Adol for the first time. East 1 and 2 Chronicles are arguably the best form to play these classics nowadays, but even when the likes of Ancient East Vanished released back in 1987, it was clear that the soundtrack would be a highlight of this stalwart. In the Chronicles release of both East 1 and 2, those songs were carried over and modernised for the 2009 PC release, which eventually found itself west in 2013. As for me, I only recently played these games, this week in fact. I knew they were short titles and I felt they would be a good break before I jumped into the final game from Atelier's Mysterious Trilogy. Needless to say, that East magic was still there, exemplified by this soundtrack. Let's start with the honourable mentions.
great stuff. But as for my personal favourite, it has to be this little gem from East 1, the Palace of Destruction. Again, it just pumps you up for the fast-paced action that the game offers. You have that foreboding 5 seconds or so at the start which matches the ambience of the zone that you're entering at this point in time, and then it just lets loose with that clean guitar work as you mow down demons. It's just cool in every sense of the word and that theme in of itself is going to be quite common as we go further down the list. With Adol's first adventures out of the way, we now move to Memories of Celsetta, the canonical remake of the first two versions of East 4 that were developed outside of Falcom headquarters. Memories of Celsetta sees Adol experiencing some amnesia, and a good part of the journey revolves around him retrieving his lost forts. It's clear though that this game didn't lose its ability to pump out a badass soundtrack. Here are those honourable mentions first. And though those are some top tier tracks, I always find myself drawn back to this one. It's a song that I have on pretty much all my playlists, whether I'm studying, at the gym or at work, just because it's that damn good. And it is simply named Ancient Land. Once again, it's the combination of the violins and guitars fusing into a sweet nectar that caresses the ears. They just work so well off each other in this song as if each instrument is showing off its individual skill in a battle of supremacy. It's a wonderful piece, and I wouldn't expect anything less from Jindo. Now on to arguably the best game that East has to offer in Ophenfell Ganna. The canonical remake of East 3 is lauded as the pinnacle of East, and though I don't consider it my personal favourite, I definitely agree on its quality. But I have to be honest in that I'm not a massive fan of Oath's soundtrack overall. It's got good songs, don't get me wrong, but there were far less individual tracks that I found myself coming back to. So the honourable mentions here are quite scarce.
That being said, it also holds one of my favourite songs in the series, and I think many people who have played Oath will know exactly which one I'm talking about. Sharing the same name as a certain Bracer from the Trail series, I'm of course talking about the Beast that is Valestine Castle. How? How can you not like this song? I see this track in particular as synonymous with the East series. When I think of an East game, I think of a tune like this. Fast paced to match the frantic action on screen, heavy use of guitars, a beautiful mixture of synthesizers to break up the action. It's just an amazing song through and through, and easily in my top three songs throughout the entirety of East. And now from the best to arguably the worst, though saying that's a bit unfair. East 5 is what many fans consider to be the black sheep of the series. It was never released west and it almost killed the series altogether because of how it performed back in 1995 after its initial release. If you want a full rundown, I did one about two weeks ago with the assistance of the Digital MLS team. Now I will say this immediately. East 5 never had a bad soundtrack, but it was severely limited in what it could accomplish since it was only released on the Super Famicom initially, and the technical capability of the console meant the wide array of synthesizers that Sound Team JDK normally used were limited. However, there are some good tracks here, like these honourable mentions. But my personal favourite is this whimsical tune that I assume refers to the main heroine of this adventure. It's simply called Niena's Melody, and here it is for you to hear. I feel at total ease when I hear this song. I believe I could pop this on as a lullaby to get to sleep if I ever had trouble dozing off. That's not an insult against this song to say it's boring, it's just an oddly calming rendition, which is a far cry to what I'm normally a fan of. But yeah, I really like this one, and hopefully if we ever get an East 5 remake, this song will get its due rearrangement. Moving away from Kefin now, we join Adol venturing across the Meadow Sea until he eventually finds himself stranded on the Isle of Saren along with his buddy Dogi and the other passengers of the Lombardia. Saying it immediately here, East 8 holds my favourite OST ever. In any game I've ever played, East 8 soundtrack stands at the top of the summit. There are just so many amazing songs in this game, and it's a big contributor as to why this game is not only my personal favourite in the series, but also one of my favourite games of all time. Lacrimosa of Dana epitomises adventure and mystery in equal measure. You're discovering the unknown and venturing into long-lost settlements. You truly feel like an adventurer in East 8, and the OST had to match that ambience. 
it does that and then more. Here's the honourable mentions, but I will warn you, there are a lot for this one. Honestly, any of those tracks could be at the top, but when I think of East 8, I always go back to this one. It's one of the first songs you hear in the game, it pops up just as you begin your adventure to explore the island, and it remains one of my top three along with Valestine Castle. It is Sunshine Coastline. Oh my god, this song man. Unisuga is an absolute genius. What a way to get you pumped for an adventure. What a way to start this masterpiece of a game. Sunshine Coastline is again another song that I listen to repeatedly during my day-to-day -day life. It's a rendition I could never get tired of and it's one example as to why I hold Sound Team JDK collectively in such high regard. Because they can compose stuff like this. Okay, now with Adolf free to travel once again, we move on to the title that revived the series after East 5. Ark of Napishtim was the first of the so-called Napishtim engine games, and it's reignited the formula from the earlier works done by Falcom. Despite the long hiatus, East 6 did what it needed to do, resurfacing the magic that had been lost nine years prior. And one way to do that is to offer up a top-tier soundtrack, which they did as evidenced with these bad boys.
Now, as for my personal favourite from the Pishtim, it's actually another very early track in the game, one where you've just set off on your journey. You come out of the village, make your way down the path strewn with leaves, and you're met with Cortera Woods. Again, this is a song that is outside of what I normally listen to, but this is just a great opening song to start off the adventure. It's oddly grand, it puts you in the mood to explore the Canaan Islands and see what mysterious treasures you can find. I was always happy to come back to this zone just so I could hear it one more time. And with more supernatural destruction behind him, Ado and Dogi eventually find themselves in Altago for E7, the first game that utilised the group-based combat that still endures to its latest iteration. Now, E7 was a great game for me, and I was surprised that many fans didn't share the opinion I had on it. I felt it encompassed everything an East game generally has, including a banging soundtrack with songs like this. Now even though these honourable mentions were great in of themselves, East 7 had a song that is far and away my favourite, and just like East Origin, it comes in that opening sequence. It is the oddly named, but badass, Innocent Primeval Breaker. Dude, this song just kills it. It's why I consider E7's opening to be the second best in the series just after E's origin, but it's a very close second. The animation matches perfectly to the uptick and the tune, the structure to it is crisp and impactful, and the guitar is just at top tier levels here. It is an amazing rendition, and it is also the final song of My Holy Trinity along with Valestine Castle and Sunshine Coastline. Well deserved too.
And finally, we end with Adol's most recent journey, which just so happens to be the latest game in the series as well. East Nine Monstrum Nox sees the dynamic duo in the prison city of Balduk, where the adventure takes on a different tone to previous iterations. Gone is the sprawling foray into the unknown, and in comes the mystery element at full tilt, with exploration of the city as the centerpiece. Now like Oath, I don't actually consider East Nine's OST to be the strongest within the series, but when it gets it right, it really gets it right, as evidenced right here. But for my personal favourite, it is something slightly different this time around. You've heard a lot of opening songs or early tracks being my favourites in the previous games, however in Monstrum Nox it comes right at the end. As Ado and Dogi leave the city of Balduk and their comrades behind, we're treated to a pleasant reward. And that is called Dandelion's Journey. Again, it's another song that just puts me at ease. It has a liberating feel to it that you're now free once again to go on a new adventure, which of course works in contrast to what East Nine was centred around, like a celebratory song for your achievements. It's also now one of my go-to songs to round out my videos nowadays, a pleasant rendition to close out any topic, and it'll be no different here. And there it is guys, my favourite song from every Mainline East game. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I do hope to get one out on the Trail series very soon. But for now, I will see you later. Peace.